Big January 26th started much like any other morning. He had no idea that a frantic phone call that he received that day about a deadly helicopter crash would change his life and the lives of his family forever. Uh, having him coach me and, and, and uh, maybe teaching me everything he knows about baseball. Tony Altabelli reliving memories in the Costa Mesa Park where he and older brother John played baseball together as kids. We learned that John, John's wife Carrie, and their 13-year-old daughter Alyssa had been killed in the crash that also took the lives of Kobe Bryant, his daughter, and four others. His first reaction was to go to Orange Coast College, where both he and his brother worked. I think that's kind of how I handled the, the, the shock of the whole thing was just, I, I, I don't think I told my brain it was my brother. I think it was, I just told my brain it was the baseball coach at Orange Coast College, and we had to take care of this, because there was... 100, you know, 100 crying people at Orange Coast College. I wanted to be there for them. You know, people grieve in their own pace and then in their own way. I've learned that throughout the course of this year for sure, and there's no wrong way. There's no wrong way. You know, People nine months later could be crying like it happened yesterday. Whereas in, in my situation, I've talked about it so much, and people have asked me about it, and people have reached out to me, and um, I've been able to kind of drain the abscess almost every single day, you know, and there's not a day that goes by that I haven't talked about it. John Altabelli had won four state championships over a 27-year career as baseball coach at the college, and it raised millions of dollars for the program. But for Tony, John was his hero, the brother he most wanted to be like. And anything he did, I wanted to do, you know? And he played baseball, I played baseball. He liked 80s classic rock music, I liked 80s classic rock music. It didn't matter. There was so much to love about John, his charming personality, his competitiveness, his big heart. And Tony feels it's his responsibility to see to it that his brother and family are never forgotten. I always describe Carrie as as the leader. She's the leader of her family. You know, I, John John was the leader at Orange Coast College uh, for his baseball team. But I think when he got home, I think he knew who the leader was when it came down to the household. So she was. She was the leader. She was. She would do anything for her kids, for her family. Uh, Alyssa was just. I'll always think of Alyssa as the the cute little niece that had the great smile. But the pandemic, which hit just a couple of months after the crash, has made it much more difficult to celebrate their lives in the way the family desires. And that, Tony says, has been really tough. That was the hardest part of this whole thing, was just, we're all in limbo, you know? We're all in limbo. We're trying to, you know, honor my brother and Carrie and Liss and, and do all the things that we're supposed to do, that we want to do, um, and we're not allowed to do them, you know? Like, we celebrated Easter on a Zoom meeting, you know? Like, we, we couldn't be together as a family. Tony says the family is choosing not to dwell on the crash, but celebrating the lives of the family members they lost and forging ahead. Somebody dies, you know, you want to celebrate the life as soon as humanly possible, but you've got forever to celebrate this life. It, it can happen in 2021, it can happen in 2022, it can happen in 2052, you know? Like, and John left that kind of legacy to the point where nobody's gonna forget him. And Tony and his family have an added reason to look forward to the end of the pandemic. Not only will it allow them to...